What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Cyber Tech once again, and joining me today is David Hunter from Social Wallet. He's going to take us through a guided tour of the UI, the GUI here for Social Wallet itself, and tell us a little bit about it and how it functions and how it integrates into social media platforms such as Twitter, Facebook, and uh, other social platforms that we'll have to ask if he's integrating into them. So, welcome, David. How are you today? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. So you want to tell us a little bit about Social Wallet from the the macro or the the zoomed out view first, and then we'll get into the granular kind of GUI navigation. Sure. So essentially, what we're trying to do is is make mass adoption easy. We're trying to make it to where anyone that doesn't know about crypto or feels like it's too complicated, um, we're giving them the ability to get into it. And we're trying to make it as simple as possible. And you're going to do that by uh, using That's, this interface? Yes. The social wallet platform is what's going to make that possible. Okay. So you want to take us a little bit through it and how you would maybe uh, integrate this into your Twitter or Facebook account and start sending sure. crypto? Yeah. So um, when you log in initially, you're going to be on this screen right here that we see. And uh, it's real simple. You got your wallet on the side here. Um, you've got all your coins, um, the option to deposit, withdraw, or send. Uh, send would be actually using our platform. Deposit, withdraw would be uh, sending coins onto the platform or withdrawing off the platform. Jump over here. We've got uh, send. Sending options right now are Twitter, Facebook, uh, email, and user to user on the social wallet platform. Now, I can click here and let's say I want to send to you uh, um, 10 wire tokens over Twitter. I'm going to type in your Twitter handle, which is son of a tech. Okay. Go down to the amount. I'm going to send you uh, 50 wire tokens. And it's right now it's automatically on wire. We're going to have uh, other options available soon for the drop down menu. I can write you a little note and I will hit send. I got a little notification, success, son of a tech has been sent 50 wire using Twitter. Now, jumping over to your end of things, uh, on Twitter, you should get a direct message showing that you have received wire tokens. Okay, I'm pulling up my Twitter now, so I just go to my messenger. And yes, it says I have a message that you sent me 50 wire. And if I click the link, it just redirects to my social wallet. Now right. I can just click accept. That's it. That's pretty simple. So uh, yeah. the I had already created an account, right? And I went through the verification process and all of that. And I kind of wish I wouldn't have so we could demonstrate what it looks like prior to that. Like if you sent me that over Twitter or via Twitter, if I click that and come to the to y'all's page, does it have how is it presented? Does it ask you to connect your Twitter account? Are you going to have a, essentially a single sign on option for Twitter and Facebook or? OK, um, yeah, so we will have single sign on, um, but that is not necessary. So um, if you hadn't created your account already and you clicked on that link, it would take you to a, a register page uh, for social wallet. Uh, you would register. You wouldn't even need to connect your Twitter. That doesn't matter. Um, and then as soon as you're logged into your social wallet account, the tokens will be there uh, in the same way that you just saw them a second ago where you accepted them. Okay. And then I had a couple questions about the wallet integration or the coins in particular. Uh, how are they handled? Do, does everybody have their own? Do they have the option if they wanted to? to grab their private seeds for recovery later? Or is there a, or is this more of a an exchange setup where there's a, a master wallet with, I guess, uh, guest wallets under that. Okay. So um, initially, and even at this time right now, the way it's set up is, is more like an exchange. Everything's handled by a database, but um, we've been traveling all over, you know, uh, I just got back from San Francisco and before that I, I was in Puerto Rico and I've been talking to people and people do not like, centralized they want a decentralized application they want to be in control of their keys and because of that feedback we've been listening and um, we had a developer meeting this morning and the developers said yes we can do this 
And within the next week or so, uh, Social Wallet will no longer be centralized. It will be a decentralized platform and every user will have control of the keys. Awesome. I am super glad to hear that. Uh, every time that I end up talking to you guys, I get more confident because uh, as you as you probably already know, after my previous conversation that, that with, uh, I guess uh, I'm trying to remember now, the CEO. Uh, uh, Jack. Jack, yeah. Um, he, he kind of uh, reinforced uh, a little bit more you know, com more comfort with the, the platform after some other stuff that had happened. And then one of the things that I was concerned about mostly, or the primary, the only thing I was concerned about was the, the control of the private keys. So if that's getting cleared up, that's really good news. Uh, awesome. Before we release, that will be uh, how this platform runs. So the public will never even see this version, which is centralized. Um, Okay. They will get the decentralized version when we release. So the the decentralized version, you, it'll still be just as easy for the newcomer, I assume, correct? To where if they just come in here and they have no clue what a private key is or anything like that, you, there might be an option to export your private key, but there's not going to be anything that they need to do in particular. It's going to make it more complicated? Yeah, uh, nothing's going to change. Um over in our are you back on my screen now i will pull it up right now okay go for it so over here um we will just put an option um somewhere in this menu right here to grab your private keys and so if you're a veteran and you understand what that means it's there you can grab it and you're good to go if you're uh totally new to this and you don't know what a private key is and you don't even know what to do with it if you did get it you don't have to worry about it um, everything's going to run just smooth whether you grab that key or not. Okay, that's what I like to hear. Awesome stuff. Uh, is there anything else that you want to show me? So does the history tabs and all of that work? And what's the earn tab up there? So earn um, isn't turned on right now. Okay. Um, I'll go over that in a second. Yeah, but history is working. Um, let's see. There's minus 52. You haven't set your name yet. Okay. So, we gotta, so I'll and your, do that. Yeah, and your... Um, Settings over here, just go to your account and set your name. Okay. Uh, but there's the uh, 10 wire I sent and the 50 wire that I sent. Okay. Uh, 10 wire was before we came on. Um, but over here in your account, you can just uh, set your name right there. Okay. And I get a lot of people asking me, is it going to have 2FA? Well, 2FA is right here. It's good to go. Perfect. So, yes, we will have that. And is it going to be only Google 2FA or is there going to be other uh, two-factor options? So um, right now, uh, while we're in production, um, it's to uh, it's with Google, but I'm going to push to where uh, we aren't using Google. Um, I don't actually like uh, Google's 2FA process, um, especially if you lose your phone or anything like that. Well, um, or I don't just, know if you've... yeah, or if you have somebody that's screen screen capping. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I don't know if you've ever used uh, an app called Authy, but we're going to try to uh, run with um, the integration that they have. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that covers about everything. Future plans for other social media? Is there going to be Instagram uh, integration possibly or Snapchat or anything like that? Oh, yeah. Um, so Instagram is uh, next and... Uh, I'm just going to tell you that the coding is already done. We just have to actually integrate it. And um, that is the, the coding is the hard part. Integration takes less than a day. Uh, but that will be released um, sometime after the platform goes live, uh, which is April 28th. And um, Instagram will be within the next month or so after that. We'll release it. And we haven't decided yet if we're just going to go as fast as we can and add as many as possible, or if we're going to try to stick with our roadmap, which has two or three per quarter. Um, don't really know about that yet. Uh, in theory, we could add 15 or so in the next month if we really wanted to, but there's other areas we're focusing on. Have you talked on, to so. anybody like Lit? You, have you heard of Mithril and Lit at all? I, I'm not familiar with either one of those. What is that? So Mithril is the token for Lit, but Lit is essentially, I, I'm probably going to, I have not spoken with them directly. So 
hopefully they don't get too offended by this, but it's the Snapchat, uh, the blockchain version of Snapchat. I actually have been using the app. It's very, very functional. It works really, really well. Messaging is all implemented very well, but I'm sure you're familiar with Steemit, correct? Oh yeah, um, and you know we're partners with um, Build Team. I don't know if you know who they are. Uh uh no. Okay, so um, they're kind of the big guys on Steam that build all the the cool stuff for Steam, like uh, Minnow Booster, Steam Sports, um, all that. They're one of our uh, full partners, and so we've actually uh, already been in talks with the um, development team for Steam, and they love what we're doing and. I, I can't speak for them, but I believe uh, about 99% that we're going to be working with them in the future. Okay. Um, so you might that, be able to integrate into the new, or the I guess it's the rise of social media on, on blockchain. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's how I really see things going and how I want things to go. Because personally, I'm not a fan of Twitter. I'm not a fan of Facebook. Um, I don't like how they operate uh, and certain things that they do. And I think that a more open, either open source or blockchain um, network is where I would rather put my efforts into. Mm -hmm. And um, so, yeah, Steam is huge. We we really want to work with them. Um, they said that they are backed up on new accounts right now, and they can't even keep up. And so um, if they were to integrate with us, it would just further compound that problem. And so as soon as they've got that figured out, then we're going to have another conversation. Well, that sounds good. Uh, I would highly recommend you all reach out to uh, to Mithril. Uh, I think that's their Twitter account. I'll get you the information later. Primarily yeah, because I have been using the app and it, it actually works, which is kind of rare to find, I feel like, right now on a lot of these. So. Yeah, uh, for sure. I, I want that information, and I will actually uh, try to contact them today. I didn't know they existed, so yeah. Uh, but there's all these, you know, there's all these blockchain ideas going around and theories on how to replace Twitter and Facebook and Snapchat and all that. I haven't really seen anybody come through and do it. So if their platform is working and working well, mm -hmm. that's actually pretty exciting. It's actually, so. and I've tested both the Android and the iOS version already, and both of them work. Um, nothing's crashed or anything. The messaging works, so it's pretty good. Uh, I mind blocks is on there as well, but enough about them. I just figured it might be a kind of a cool, cool uh, collab for you guys to check out. Yeah, for sure. We will reach out to them. Perfect. So. And, you know, that's another thing about Social Wallet is, is th it works, you know, it's not a theory or it's not, we're going to try to do this, you know, it's, we're not like, uh, yeah, I don't want to drop other coin names, but some other coins have been trying to do this and trying to do it for years, some of them, and they haven't been able to pull it off. And we're, we're here, we're ready to roll. So April I have 28th, we'll be live. I have one final question then. Uh, uh, you're probably super aware of all of the crypto ad bans going across all the social media platforms, including YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook, the latest of being Twitter. Do you think that that might pose a risk for Social Wallet in the future if they decide to extend that ban to uh, other other aspects of their social media platform, such as messaging and so on? Um, I don't, I don't think so. And, um, if they did, I, I wouldn't actually be bothered by it because that's just going to spur innovation towards open source and towards blockchain. And we might even throw our resources into something, uh, in that field. But as far as like, uh, Twitter and Facebook with their, uh, advertising bans, um, that was to cut down on fraud, and we actually have ads running on actually Twitter, Facebook, and uh, Google right now, and we just had to verify some information, and they were good with what we're doing. So I don't think they're, I don't think it's like the big crackdown everyone thinks or, or is saying it is. I think they're really just trying to cut out fraud. Yeah, and I, I mean, in general, I've been behind it. Unfortunately, it has hurt public perception of cryptocurrency as a whole. I think that's why we see some, some of the prices affected by it, right? Um, but I think the price is probably more affected by the amount of fraud and scams that have been going around in cryptocurrency in general. Yeah, and there's been a lot of that going on. Um, 
you know, I think one of the bigger ones was uh, Bic Connect, and that's what brought a lot of people, a lot of the the noobs in that didn't know anything about crypto. They heard about these huge returns that people were getting, and they they put money that they probably shouldn't have put into into Bic Connect, and mm -hmm. uh, that ended up walking away, and that just tarnished everybody's reputation. Um, but and that's why you know we're a U.S. based company, um, we're incorporated, so if we were to ever do anything fishy or shady, uh, the SEC or the FBI would be kicking our doors in. So. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that was a, something awesome to learn last time I spoke with uh, Jack, that you guys were pretty much a U.S.-based company. Well, not pretty much. You are a U.S.-based company, so you've gone through all of the, the steps, and that, that makes it a lot more difficult for you to just turn tail and run as well, right? So. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, last question is, why your token will be released as a currency on the 28th as well? Yeah, so uh, why your token will be released the 28th. The platform will be released the 28th. Okay. And you can go into the uh, sell site and send it to a uh, normal or typical uh, wallet on your computer, or you can send it to the uh, social wallet platform on that day. Okay. And the wallet will be up and any exchanges confirmed? Um, I cannot speak about exchanges. And if you are purchasing uh, the wire token, it should be for the benefit of the platform and the usability of the platform and not for investment purposes. Gotcha. All right. Got all of the questions answered and cleared up. Thanks for the demo of Social Wallet. Uh, look forward to checking it out when it finally launches and seeing what all is going to go on there. Okay. I appreciate you having me on. Awesome. Thanks, David. You have a great day. You too.